Justice Winslow told the South Florida Sun Sentinel on Sunday at a charity event for the Robbins House Family Foundation that he'd like to change positions this season for the Heat. Despite not starting a point guard a single game since being drafted in 2015, he said, quote, I'm looking forward to playing point guard this season. We'll see how that works out. But that's my plan is to play point guard and be the point guard for this team. I just think for what our team wants out of that position, somebody who is a great communicator, somebody who is vocal, someone who gets guys in their spots, I think pretty much I embody all of that. So that's why I think I'm a good fit. Nick, how do you think Goran Dragic thinks about Winslow being a fit at point guard? Do you think Goran Dragic cares at all at Rach? Because what has Justice Winslow really done in his career to this point? I mean, Goran Dragic has played at a high level he has pr uh, proven to be one of the better point guards in play when he's healthy on the floor. Winslow was supposed to be a steal of the draft a few years ago. Winslow was supposed to be the guy that Miami could build around. Everybody crushed Michael Jordan for, for not uh, taking that deal to, to get the picks, and they take Frank the Tank, and that didn't turn out well. But Winslow was supposed to be the guy that was going to help Miami push into the next decade or so in, with Pat Riley and Eric Spolstra. And he's an okay player, but when I when I saw this quote and I, I we were discussing it, I'm going, Justice Winslow. So really, I, I checked in with the Heat on this, um, and they were a little surprised by the quote because, in their eyes, he kind of has been a point guard for the last year or two. He hasn't been called a point guard, but he has the ball in his hands a lot of times when he's on the court, and so he's already in that position. Um, and so it didn't it didn't rankle them at all in the sense that the, yeah, that's kind of the role that he's been playing, and it it. Puts him in a position, though, with Dragic, where Dragic, as you know, when we did the trade deadline yes. special, or when we did free agency yeah. special, um, there was a chance Goran Dragic wasn't there. He was yep. going to Dallas, but that trade obviously changed and, and had to um, move around and where Dragic is still in Miami, and the, I think the fence is still mended. It's been mended, yeah. and it's fine, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's not there long term because of where his contract sits and what Justice sure. needs to do in his career in terms of taking a step forward. Right, and I mean, I thought the phrasing was interesting, mm -hmm. and I couldn't tell if he was just sort of letting the cat out of the bag about what he's already talked to the organization right. about and maybe just taking a little more ownership of it or if he was telling the organization well I think I should play point guard my experience is that you don't tell President Pat Riley <laughs> what you are going to do on the basketball court he tells you that's the order it goes mm -hmm. in you don't tell Eric Spolstra who's a very strong coach what happens on the basketball court. He tells you that's the order it goes in. So I can't tell kind of what happened behind the scenes here. We are in a positionless era of the NBA, so does it really matter what you're called? It matters I in do the locker wonder, room, though, Well, that's what I said. I do wonder if Goran's sort of feathers would get ruffled just by, like, having the title or not, but we will see. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.